Namaste Sapiens, in this tutorial we are going to continue our space shooter series and in this tutorial we are going to create our enemy boss and only we are going to do this. So let's get back to Unity. So in order to get to our enemy boss we have to kill a certain number of enemies. I am doing it this way, if you are doing it some other way then please tell me in the comment if you want me to uh, do it in some other ways but uh, according to me I am doing this in this way. We are going to create a private int and we will say enemy deaths to spawn boss and we will say 4 just for example enemy deaths to spawn boss the number of enemies we have to defeat to get to the enemy boss okay so this is a very basic thing and now the next thing that we should do should be creating a method will be our spawn enemy no 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 we have to do this game object enemy boss okay ah not boost enemy boss to spawn okay we can say it like this so now this we are using spawn enemies in the start it's okay but we don't need to do this so we are going to check if we can spawn our enemy boss so for that purpose i'm going to create a public static end and we'll say enemies defeated and that will be at the very beginning start and whenever our enemy dies you can see in the player controller and not in the health manager we'll say in the kill if get component if we have an enemy attached then we will say then we will say enemy spawner dot enemy is defeated plus plus okay so that's the thing we are going to increase the enemy defeated number and once our enemy is defeated reaches this if enemies defeated is greater than equal to enemy deaths to spawn boss okay then we are going to say spawn enemy boss okay so whenever we are spawning the enemy boss we don't have to do this so we'll simply send it to an else and we'll paste it here so now we have things pretty clear now we're going to say spawn enemies but only once okay and once the enemy boss is defeated we're going to change it so let me do something uh, we're going to create a private void spawn enemy boss okay and we'll say if enemy boss to spawn is not equal to null then we are going to instantiate our enemy boss okay and in our enemy script we are going to create a new new boolean and that is going to be public because we need to include in our other scripts and we will say is boss and it is false by default so it will tell us if the en if this enemy is a boss or not so if this enemy is a boss and we have defeated the boss then i can create also something for you and we'll say if get component enemy dot is boss then you can do something here that 
if you are making a label waste then you can say label cleared uh, mission passed respect plus plus something like that <laughs> okay so <laughs> that was just sendry as ah shit here we go again so where were we in the not in the enemy map function script we were in the enemy spawner script okay so here we have to spawn our enemy boss and it's in the update so it will happen every frame so we have to just do this exc and uh, okay i will say false if executed is if not executed then we are only going to do all of this stuff and we'll say executed is true and here we are also going to say enemy is defeated uh, we don't need to reset it or do we it's up to you i guess uh, i guess we are using uh, enemy boss only one enemy boss in one level so we don't need to reset it now we have to create an enemy boss the enemy boss can spawn lasers which have a greater damage and it can also spawn missiles maybe but first let's reduce the damage of this laser because we can't defeat four enemies in this manner we will set two i guess and now we are going to create a this is our enemy these are the thing it have so we are going to create an enemy boss where is a hmm i have used the enemy <laughs> boss earlier now i guess we have to use some alternates because nothing here looks like enemy ah uh, i guess this is the enemy boss enemy boss we are going to rotate it 180 degree i guess that's that size is not good we are going to say 2 uh that should looks long <laughs> we can say 1.5 maybe we can just let it be 1 and here it looks fine also let me disable this it looks fine it looks like a boss our player is bigger than him i can uh, i guess we have to reduce the player but now let it be like that for this projectile to spawn and this is individual and this is a boss a spawn offset will set and we have to add an health manager to it health fill uh, yes the enemy is also going to have something so we are going to duplicate this health bar and we'll say health bar enemy boss okay and where is our enemy boss we'll say this and this is our image okay health bar enemy boss this is our enemy boss's health bar let me move it i don't see if there's a function to child it to the enemy itself i guess we couldn't do this man because we only needed a crew when we spawn our enemy boss so let me customize something so in this enemy script we will say our serialized field have health bar just to if the enemy is having health bar okay uh private boolean i forgot it so if the r is having a health bar then we will say if
have health bar okay or maybe we can simply say health bar is not equal to null this will be a game object if health bar is not equal to null then we will say health bar dot set active to true and when we are going to set this false in this health manager we will say we will also say the parent okay private game object health bar we will say and at the start we will say if our if we have a component enemy and we will say if our health bar is not equal to null we are going to set this health bar to false and we are going to set it true in that method i have shown you where it was yes in this start we are going to set it to true so it's the start for our enemy okay now i guess we are done with the coding part now we have an option so this is our this and we have to drag it here too and the projectile to spawn so that's a good thing okay a smooth time this is one okay so let it be now i'm going to create a new laser and we'll say enemy boss laser and let's see can if we can change it we can make it like this or maybe we can make this laser uh more like this let's see what happens so i have done this thing and let me child it to this let's see what's the offset it's one point it's two i guess we will say minus two and we have to increase the box collider we will say this 0.43 okay we have to apply this back now let's delete it this is our enemy boss that's our boss the projectile is spawn is this and let's change this layer to enemy and let us prefab this thing now remove it and in the enemy spawner we will say enemy boss to spawn so firstly we have to destroy these four folks that come in and then we are done so why isn't this thing stopping health manager oh i see you i see this health manager can't get it so let us remove it from here we are going it to add it to our enemy spawner and we will say health bar of enemy boss and we will say if health bar of enemy boss is not equal to null we will set it to false oh we have not provide the reference now the things work now we have to destroy our four enemies 1 2 3 4 you can see we have our uh, enemy boss here but you can see one thing that yes it's good it's okay 
nothing is the problem here we have to just increase the fire rate i guess we have to increase the fire rate we have to increase the damage to 10 we have to where's the fire rate man yes it's here <laughs> Uh, we have to increase the fire rate and we'll set it to 1 and this thing looks good so let's test it once again uh, 1 second enemy gone third enemy and this is our fourth enemy now we can see we have our boss here so the next thing that we have to do let's say we have to increase the time to discard to three seconds okay so we have set the time to discard to six, three seconds so now you can see it's working guys hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching so bye bye and see you in the next video peace